Hey students, this is Mr. Woodward showing you how to do your um, first lab using video physics. And um, before we open video physics, uh, you have to take a video of your object in motion and you have to trim your video. So I'm gonna open up uh, the video that I took and just play it for you so you can see what I'm doing in the video. I've got a table laid out with a meter stick in the background for measurement. And then I'm just gonna roll a ball across the screen and then eventually I'm gonna track the motion of that ball as it's rolling. So the first thing I need to do is I need to trim the video so that it starts right when I release the ball. So I'm gonna pull this over and I'm going to trim it right there after it's left my hand. Now that I've got this video, I'm gonna import it into video physics. So now if I hit play, the ball is already in motion, it's already left my hand. So in video physics, I'm gonna add a new experiment and I'm gonna say choose existing and I'm gonna grab that video that I just trimmed, uh, which is right here. And I'm gonna play it. It's already perfectly queued up. So now using this video, which is totally ready to go, I'm gonna do um, first uh, a little bit of um, setting of the origin and the scale. So at the top, I'm gonna to click origin and scale. So it was on points, now I'm here at origin and scale. And um, first I'm gonna tell the video how long one meter is. And if you notice at the top, it's counting in pixels. It says 636 pixels PX at the top. As I continue to drag, it, it counts pixels. And when I set this across the meter stick, I'm telling it that 1,220 pixels is gonna be exactly equal to one meter. This is scaling the video and telling video physics um, how large a meter is. Once I've set that, I'm gonna set the origin, meaning where I want um, the zero horizontally and the zero vertically to be. And so I'm gonna stick it right here at the beginning of my, uh, actually, I'm gonna set it right where I've released the ball. So let me move the video back. And I'm gonna set my origin right here on the front of the ball, right after I've released it. As best I can tell where the front of the ball is. Now I'm gonna begin to um, set some points. So this is going to track the position of the ball every uh, frame during the video. And so I'm just gonna tap where that is and it will automatically advance the video. And I'm just gonna follow the ball as it rolls across the table tapping the front edge of the ball each time. Notice that the distance between the red dots is relatively constant. This is because the ball is moving at constant speed, right? The space from one dot to the next is about the same. It's moving the same amount of distance each moment in time. So what I'm gonna do next after I've tracked the front edge of the ball each moment in time and that should be enough, is I'm going to ask Video Physics to graph this for me. And so um, if I tap graphs, it gives me a bunch of different uh, graph options. So I can kind of see some, some options here. But what's easier to see is if I send this to another app called Graphical Analysis. So I'm gonna tap Graphical Analysis, I'm gonna say export a graphical analysis file, and I'm gonna open it in the Graphical Analysis app. I'm gonna say copy to graphical. So now it's gonna take all that data and it's gonna open it in this new app where I actually start to see uh, information layered over each other. So in the top graph, it's giving me the X position, meaning the horizontal position of the ball over time and it's giving me the Y position, the vertical position of the ball over time. Well, I don't really need this one because this one is just showing me like the ball's height over time. And since it's a level table, I know that the height is gonna be relatively constant. Notice um, there's, a, there's this like red dotted line that goes across the graph. Actually, if I remove, well, there's a red dotted line that goes across the graph showing me that the, the height is relatively constant the whole time. And so now I have this really straight blue line that moves up and to the right. And um, it, it sort of zigzags 
at the origin of this graph, probably because I didn't dot something correctly. Um, down here, I can graph the velocity. So the x velocity is the ball's horizontal velocity, and the y velocity is the ball's vertical velocity. Um, I don't really need those right now, so I'm gonna leave that one blank. I just care about its position. And so if I go up here, I can tell it to just zoom in on one graph, and then I'm gonna take um, a screenshot of that showing that it's a really straight up and to the right kind of graph for this first experiment where the object is rolling along a flat table.